everybody. How are you? My name is Wanjiru Nguhe and welcome to Mine is a Common Podcast. I am Wanjiru Nguhe again and I do hope that this podcast finds you um, mo- moisturized. <laughs> yeah, moisturized, sanitized, um, vaccinated. If you have not gotten your full vaccination, please make arrangements to get your full vaccination. And I also hope that you have subscribed to this channel. The Mine is a Common channel. If you haven't, please subscribe. And uh, welcome to this episode. I'm very excited about this episode. And I'm very excited to have you here. Uh, my guest today is a friend of mine. Her name is Carol Nganga. Carol Nganga is the founder of Musingi Trust, and she also does the wonderful work of the Lord of trying to reimagine theology and Christianity in a way that centers humanity, justice, accountability, and common sense. Ish. Yeah? I'm about to change my... <laughs> <laughs> My byline. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Yeah. So welcome, Carol. Thank you so Asante. much for coming. It's an honor to be here. Yeah. I am really grateful. Yeah. Thank you. Um, as you've heard, my name is Carol Nganga, mm-hmm. founder of Singi Trust, where mm-hmm. we make the connections between faith, justice, activism, and mm. advocacy. Yeah. We started in 2017. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we keep going. And she's also a yes. podcaster. Her podcast is also called Msingi Trust. No, it's called Msingi Talks. Msingi Talks, yes, yes. Msingi Talks, yeah. And we are every every month, once a month, mm-hmm. we do we host a Msingi Talks live mm-hmm. on Facebook. Facebook. Yes. yes. Thank you so much for joining. I'm so excited. Yeah, I'm just like, ooh. Yay, me too. This is also me such too. an honor. Yes, thank you yeah. for coming and thank you for seeing yes. <laughs> so today we are going to talk about church trauma. This is a topic that is very close to my heart because for the longest time, the mention of church has triggered me. Every time I just say, I just hear, hear, I ban, ban, I get triggered, triggered. Like this, like this, like this. But now we are, I'm, 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 you know, I'm, I'm stable enough to have this conversation without being triggered and without go hair, hair. Mm. So, um, so Carol is going to, you know, we are going to talk about, we're going to unpack church trauma. And the first thing I'm going to ask is, what is church trauma? Uh, well, I don't have a definite mm. definition, but I think um, as far as trauma goes, it's mm. anything that wounds you yeah. or anything that inflicts pain. Mm. And sometimes some trauma is visible on yeah. your body. Yeah. Sometimes it's in your soul. Sometimes yeah. it's psychological. Mm. Sometimes it's interpersonal. Mm. So it is as extensive as any trauma goes. Yes, And then um, I think... The the painful part about church trauma mm. is that it's spiritual as well. Yeah, is that it's uh, it's it's inflicted to you mm-hmm. by people whom you you thought knew better. You trusted. <laughs> I know. You trusted. You trusted. Yeah. Or by people sent by someone who you love. Yes. Quote and quote God. Yes. So someone who represents, like <laughs> yes, people who represent this yes, being. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So now that adds another layer mm. that I think sometimes we forget yeah. to to quantify the impact of that. Yeah. So church trauma is as traumatic as actual physical or emotional wounds. Mm-hmm. And it is not something to be uh, taken lightly. Taken lightly, yes. 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 Yeah. So and what does it like what are the common sources of church trauma? Because church is divided in many ways. We were discussing it before we started. Yes. And I thought you said something very I'm not I'm not going to say it like her, so I'll just, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think um the categories you ask. Yes, the categories and the sources. The sources. Yeah. It's people. Yeah. Uh the first thing is people. It's people, yeah. Because institutions yes. are people and people make <laughs> people are made. And then yeah. sometimes, as we were saying, that mm. one, we all come wounded yes and wounded people wound others yeah and so whether you're a leader mm-hmm. or just a kym in the, mm-hmm. in, the <laughs> in the space yeah. you will wound yes. and you will be wounded yeah and then also there's the theological trauma yeah with patriarchal theology mm-hmm. with um capitalistic mm-hmm. theologies yeah. with um homophobic theologies mm-hmm. All of those theologies that are wounding people mm-hmm. every day. Yeah. So there's that. Mm-hmm. And then there is political wounding mm. because most of our churches are aligned uh, mm. politically. And so, yeah, uh, election years, churches mm-hmm. align uh, yeah. politically mm-hmm. depending on who's paying. 
So you know, yeah, like who, who who drops the heaviest yes. envelope? Yeah. So that comes, and then mm-hmm. there's colonial trauma. Mm. We can't, especially, uh, we can't, we can't run away from the fact that most of our churches in the Kenyan context, mm-hmm. they they grew wings because of colonialism, yes. and yeah. uh, even though the church is older than colonialism mm-hmm, yeah. but colonialism uh euro co- colonialism mm-hmm. has impacted us and mm-hmm. continues to inflict uh wounds yeah. on us yeah, yeah. Right. and sometimes that those wounds are vis- are you can see them you can see them yes and sometimes you can't yeah 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 so when we're talking about church trauma i know i had asked about what does it feel like what does it look like because you've said some wounds we can see some we cannot see mm-hmm. so what does this trauma you know, feel like, what does it look like? How does it, in, yeah, like, how does it, how do we interact Man. with it? <laughs> There's so much. There's, yeah. Like, as many people as as we are, yeah. so uh, there are many I mean, ways to yeah. wound people. Okay. Uh, but I will, I will talk to, about a few that are close to my heart. Mm-hmm. This one, uh, this is the gender stereotype trauma okay. within our faith spaces mm-hmm. where women are, Women are told they can't plant churches, mm. even when they are called yeah. to plant churches. Where a woman will plant a church and then um, will be told, "No, you you can't mm. let someone else run the church let for a man. you. Let a man. Let a man. Yeah. Uh, where <laughs> where someone will, I will train you. You're a guy." Mm-hmm. I train you, mm-hmm. and then you take over churches. Okay, because you're only because you're a guy. Only because you're a, you can take over because of that. Mm-hmm. There's um, there's wounds. I think, and this is not just like your English urban churches. Mm-hmm. I think the one trauma that I I keep thinking about because my background is Presbyterian as well. Okay, I know um, my father mm-hmm. cannot receive Holy Communion. Mm-hmm. Because he's not married to my mother. <laughs> oh, okay, yes, there's that. Also. There's that still in the Presbyterian. <laughs> yes. yes. Yeah. So how many years later, he still can't mm, because, until he until he marries her. Yes. Okay. And I'm like, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't Jesus die for all of us? <laughs> like the yeah. most sacred of the the meal that's meant to bring us all together, together. as one. Yeah. Is the one that divides us the most. And yeah. I was actually thinking about this the other day mm-hmm. where when I used to go to congregational church mm-hmm. where we are Holy Communion is being passed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And then Carol can't have communion mm-hmm. because I'm told I'm not worthy of communion. Okay. Yet all of us are unworthy of communion yes. if we looked at it in that in sense. In that sense. But, be, yeah. but then there is that the who gets it, who doesn't. Mm-hmm. Yet this is a gift that God has given us, that Jesus has given us to mm-hmm. share mm-hmm. in remembrance of God. So are you saying that there is something I can do as Carol mm-hmm. that that makes my memory of God, of Jesus, and memorable <laughs> that disqualifies you and so you yes. you're not worthy of that memory yes. of the remembering yes yeah yeah so and then there's uh, the, the traumas are extensive mm. i one of my traumas is one day uh, when the doctors were striking and mm. i say this because it really hurt me yeah and the doctors were striking and mm-hmm. i asked one of my leaders in mm-hmm. the church that i was what can we do um because we we have influence. Yeah. What can we do mm-hmm. to have this conversation? Yeah. To at least be at the table where these negotiations are happening. Yeah. I was told the church cannot be seen to be taking sides against the government. I was like, the end. Against the go- <laughs> government? Okay. The end. The end. All right. The end. Because who are we for? If you're not for the people. Mm. Who are we for? Yeah, that so was a... <laughs> me. That, that is when I knew this is done. Yeah, this is done. We are done. Yeah, we because for God so loved the world that He gave mm-hmm. His only begotten Son. Yeah, we are. We are the church for service. We are the church for people. We are the church for the least of these. The people where the the wounds are, 
That's mm. where we should be. That's where the church should be. Yeah. And if doctors are striking, then it means that public service and the public itself, that's where the church should yeah. be. Yeah. Not with the people who are looking at, oh my God. Yeah. That's, that that's, says a lot. That yes. says a lot. <laughs> yeah. So I think the extent of church trauma, mm. I think is also because of bad theology, as I said. Yeah. A theology that is, um, the reason I named my organization Msingi is because mm. it's, it stems from Psalms 89, 14. Mm -hmm. Justice and righteousness is the foundation of God's throne. Mm -hmm. So a lot of what we've done is that we've connected and concentrated too much on righteousness. Mm -hmm. Yet, there is no righteousness without justice. Okay. And you can't you can't expect people to be righteous mm -hmm. who who are going through injustices. No. Because what injustice does, it <clears throat> what injustice does and what injustice uh, allows to happen mm -hmm. is for inhumanity to thrive. Yes. So because I know it injustice does not give us an opportunity to be human. Yes. And so when I am bribing, because that's the only way out. Yeah, that's the only option available that's the to you. The only yeah. option. Mm -hmm. You're denying me the opportunity to be humane. Yeah. To do the right thing. Yes. And to walk in that righteousness. Yes, yeah. and to walk in that righteousness. And mm. so that's why for me, it is so central yeah. to have those two together mm. and that we have built one side and left the other side mm. and built means that we have a wobbly fallen. Yeah, also what have uh, we built righteousness yes, on? Yes. Who is this who is being yes, righteous? Because yes. yeah. the government is not for one. <laughs> so if, you, if you have, to, I mean, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I All right. I yeah. don't know if I've answered. No, you have answered. You have <laughs> yes. answered. And when we're discussing trauma, we can't discuss trauma and not discuss accountability. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about accountability, who where are we holding who are we holding accountable to? Um and like where does personal responsibility begin? Because also if you're coming to church wounded and you're finding a wounded church, so where does personal responsibility end and where does institutional responsibility and accountability begin? Mm. Yeah. I think I keep, when you've said that, I remember the scripture that says, work out your salvation with fear, with fear and trembling. trembling. In the sense I remember, that you, you remember, guys, you guys, <laughs> you're a good <laughs> church girl. But I remember that mm -hmm. it is, it can't be just one person. Yeah. It's symbiotic. Mm. There's things that I need to do with the wounds that I have. Yeah. But also I need to have a landing space. Yeah. You know? Yeah. A home. A mm. place where I can be nurtured. Yeah. You know? Yeah. A place where, um, or a space where they come as you are you and mean it. Don't tell me come as you are and then you yes. tell me, okay, now, not hey, like that. No, come on, no. <laughs> you have come to, that's what she's saying, you have come yes. too much. You are, hey, you are too dirty. You are too you. Hey, you need you to just be a bit, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. And trust that God who loves me as much as God loves you mm. will do God's work in mm. my life and yeah. will do God's work in the institution's life. Yeah. And so um, accountability is... We really like to use accountability when it's about people, but mm. not the institution. Yes, that's why I needed to <laughs> yes. find that. So where does my working so, out of salvation yes. and the institutions working yes. out of salvation? Yes. And also the other thing actually you have we have to say mm -hmm. is that most of our churches are not saved. Mm. The institutions themselves. Mm -hmm. If Jesus was to come, that he would not go with the institution. He would not <laughs> because of the injustice that the institution itself is mm. uh, perpetuating on people. Yeah. And so as we are seeking accountability from people themselves, mm -hmm. even mm -hmm. from the institution, yeah. there needs to be accountability. How are we treating our neighbors? Yeah. And our, that's our immediate neighbors. Yeah. There's, there's, uh, there's a quote that a lot of uh, people like saying mm -hmm. over there at the front in the pulpit, if... If this church was going to be um come in gekwe in a fungwa, would people would your neighbors protest against it? <laughs> I love that question. I've 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 also asked that question yes. once. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Would the neighbors protest? They or would they be happy that Makelele in Malaysia, in Malaysia, oh my so we can sleep? Because you yeah. have absolutely no impact in, in that community. community. Yeah. 
do they know that if they are sick they can come to this place and be healed or if they are hungry they if can. they are hungry they will be fed mm -hmm. if they are thirsty they will drink and mm -hmm. of their fill or that women you know running away it's from, a safe from space violence. for women yes. Yes. do they know that and so when we are talking about accountability mm. let's not look at it only in terms of even you you made a mistake mm. but is the institution accountable to the mandate that the church has yeah. you know yeah yeah all right and so so who is because we've talked about a lot we've talked a lot about the institution and we talk about a lot about institutions who is the institution so when we're saying we are holding the institution accountable who particularly is this person we are holding a institution ni nani institution kama ushaya uko na ka building mahali we ni institution <laughs> Come on, that you cross a daka. Where an institution? Where an institution? Because you see, the other thing is, mm -hmm. I find it so funny mm -hmm. every time you start talking about the question about the church, mm -hmm. Christians will ask, "Who, Who is, is the church? church?" And then they want to shift, not to make it about mm -hmm. personal responsibility yes. when it's institutional but responsibility. But when it is gay rights, the church has said the church has refused. So there are instances when you know who the church is and the instances you we are all the church uh, <laughs> or who see the new your church see the new your church yeah. so i find that that question is most of the times insincere yes. because it is it is not rooted mm -hmm. it is it is not rooted in finding it's it's just rooted in in, in sincerity mm -hmm. and it's rooted in um blame shifting yeah. it's rooted in uh, not wanting accountability mm. and it's rooted in chipangeni as we are as an institution yeah yeah but who is that institution so the church elders the deacons I, yeah all people of, who sit like yes. if, if you go to a church where there are certain colors of chairs <laughs> in front <laughs> people who sit <laughs> Hey, kitu ya mom na dad. Kitu ya mom na dad na 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 sons na daughters. Na sons and daughters. Yes. Yeah. I think um if you are affiliated to and I am I am a church girl. Yeah. And so I when I am saying the church I am also saying me. Yeah. But I am not a church institution girl. But you're not girl. the institution. Yes. So I can't so hold you accountable for a second. So now yeah. if I am if I have if I'm I have a registration if i am in the community if i have buildings if i have all of those things mm. i think then that means you can hold that accountable mm. but also on the other hand mm -hmm. is that i don't know this the politics of this though is like what is the separation of church and state you know yeah in the sense of what what mandate does the church have mm. from the state okay you know yeah. like what what is the church expected to do so by that the they by yes. the state yes. so that then we can hold that church accountable mm. but also we also need to remember that our accountability should not also come from the state mm. we are accountable to god yes who is a lover of justice yeah. who is a lover of righteousness yeah. and so our accountability can be swayed politically mm. but it shouldn't be swayed in the sense of doing god's mandate yeah. in this world and god's mandate is uh my chapter 6 verse 8 my favorite verse mm -hmm. is he has shown you man what is good but what does god require of you but to do justice to love mercy and to walk humbly with your god amen amen Menda kanisa. Ni menda kanisa. Hapo yeah. umetupeleka kanisa. Umetupeleka yeah. <laughs> <laughs> church. Umetupeleka kanisa. Yes. So it is all it is all of those. Mm -hmm. It is justice, it is mercy, it is right living between people and with nature and mm. all that. Oh, yeah. with nature. I love that you mentioned yes, with nature with because nature. we are not seeing people protesting the trees being cut. Hey. We are not seeing, but the minute we say girls can have their abortions and hey. sex education, we. even we'll do a press and conference we can have surrogacy, but no because <laughs> Anyway, so what does this um what stands in the way of justice and accountability? it's it's evangelical theology that we've imported from america mm -hmm. and colonial theology that we've imported from england yeah and we've uh, forgotten that uh if you go to ethiopia right now you'll find mm -hmm. the oldest churches in in the world mm -hmm. and it's older than that yes. civilization yes yeah. it's older than that mm -hmm. and so we have 
we have for we we really have imported theology that is not contextual to us okay and you see the word theology mm-hmm. maybe to to um demystifies mm-hmm. that ways of knowing god yeah. and talking about god okay so when we are knowing god in in eurocentric ways mm-hmm. in ways that hit blackness yeah and yet we are black we're trying to know god <laughs> yes. from a perspective that hits blackness <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah when we are talk knowing god in in ways that are capitalistic and extractive mm-hmm. and is consistently raping nature yeah you know yeah we we are knowing god wrongly yeah if we are knowing god um in ways that uh says half of of his creation her creation will will not um serve in church mm. and we're doing a disservice to to yeah. god's creation yeah you know mm. if if you are knowing god you knows that are foreign to us we can't find god in the trees in the mountains mm. can't know god in the wind in, in each wind, other in each other in our blackness yeah yeah then we are knowing god wrong yeah and so and i know people will come for me <laughs> <laughs> let them go they will find me <laughs> they will come for me because now you're telling us to face no main uh, to pray why facing not? mount kenya i'm why like not? why not how did god reveal himself to uh, uh, and mm. herself to people mm. and also yes god can be a she yes. god is female yes. yeah because if we're made in the yes. we're made in the image yes. of god Then you look in the mirror you see divinity mm. a man looks in the mirror and sees divinity mm-hmm. we are all seeing correct yes. none of us is wrong <laughs> yes yes yeah. and yeah. also the the problematic ways of the way the english see god mm-hmm. is in binaries yes okay yes <laughs> you know mm. god can either be this or this or this But in our languages we didn't have we didn't have we don't even yeah. who is guy do you, does guy have a gender there is no gender mwene nyaga there is no is just the owner of the nyaga no like i i see yes. there is no gender yes, you, you, absolutely you no yeah. gender yes but mimi niki ita mungu she then so, the people start looking at you funny and it's like but and let me not? tell you yeah. i and i say this and i say this mm. in the most sincerest of ways mm. that the times i have prayed mother god okay The prayers hit different <laughs> they get to her heart like it my, give uh, this child what she's asking for yes yeah imagine yeah god as mother and jeremiah as a as a hen gathers mm-hmm. her, her chicks so, so is god so does god so we've also muted the feminine mm. in because of our patriarchal lenses mm-hmm. we've muted the feminine mm-hmm. in scripture yeah and that's a big problem because yes. if you meet the feminine then it means even the, your members the members of your church who are female you will have a certain who are the majority they are the women actually they're not mm. even half mm. but you see now also in leadership in churches the mm. higher you go the male it becomes so where do they get this male the higher you go the male it becomes <laughs> where do they get this men though because if we are the majority where are these male leaders coming from but surely it's also with us as women mm-hmm. because sometimes we because of how we've been um socialized, socialized yeah. is that only a man can lead me mm. you know because a man is the leader we don't a man is the leader of the home a man was created we will do a podcast on that yes on on that whole submission story yes we will definitely do some um that's in in uh, in my plan because there's there's also mutual submission yeah it is not one way okay. and there's also the the conversation that even what paul was talking about one when he says the head it's also the source not necessarily the yeah. leader but you see also that language is very colonial yes. because submission is a is a slavery language mm-hmm. so can we first and 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 colonize our language anyway we'll mm-hmm. do that we'll, we'll do, do that, that podcast, we'll do yes. that podcast yeah <laughs> all right so there's a verse in the bible that bothers me mm-hmm. this verse about and it, i think it ties with justice forgiveness and accountability when jesus was talking about forgiving 70 times 7 times mm. and there's also a part where jesus is talking about uh, when one slaps you on this side give them the other side and I'm just like 
isn't isn't this a justification for people to move mad <laughs> with the injustice yeah. yes i remember in college my theology lecturer gave mm. us context for those verses mm-hmm. um the, the this the turn the other cheek mm-hmm. so like if you look at slap if i slap you like this mm-hmm. That's normal. Yeah. But if I turn the other cheek, turn it. Mm-hmm. If I do it like this, yeah. I am I am defying myself. But I'm feeling the pain still. You're still slapping yes. me twice. Yes, I am. Yeah. But the thing was mm-hmm. that turning the other cheek is not necessarily be allow the violence to happen. That's that's what I was. Yeah. Yes. It looks it, like it, allow. <laughs> yeah. It and is, do nothing about it. It is that the person who's doing that hitting mm-hmm. is violating you. Is now adding injustice to himself. I know it. It sounds sideways. It, it does. Sounds, it, it sounds. It, it sounds horribly sideways. Yeah. But I think, um, and it does have colonial undertones. It mm-hmm. has that the the things for nyamazia, nyamazia too. too. Nyamazia too. But that in that context, mm-hmm. in that in that setting, mm-hmm. it was for toka achwenalana. So now when we're talking about accountability and justice, mm-hmm. how how do you now put, how do we seek justice when you're, you're telling me ni toke, and I watch on anani lana, who is the giver of so, lana? So yeah. uh, we can use, this now is becoming a church service. It was <laughs> a church, when you started saying, Michael, God loves, when I said amen, amen. Just, <laughs> we went to church. I just welcomed but it, yeah. For me, the story that comes to mind is the Zacchaeus, uh, Zacchaeus. Mm the Zacchaeus story mm. is that salvation only came to his home only when he restored four times what he had stolen. Mm. So it is not forgiveness just. Okay. You don't just get forgiven without restitution. Okay. You don't steal from people and then you, you come and do a patni and we forgive you. Or you come and cry in a <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. You have to return <laughs> Four times mm. over from what you have stolen. Yeah. So that then salvation comes into your home. Okay. There is, I do, I do not believe there is salvation without restitution. And there's no forgiveness without accountability. There is no forgiveness. Because he, yes, I had stolen from four. Who, who of us, all of them that we have poured anointing oil on, mm. how many have said I had stolen? None. None. Yeah. But then they are coming back to ask for votes and to tell us they they want our votes because they, we are also foolish even us yeah we are accepting we instead and, of telling them if yes. you want if you want us to endorse if you want you must admit that you have done this mm-hmm. and you must return and return return can the church do return we needs to we needs to needs to yeah the church needs to repent mm-hmm. repent of stealing okay land wow okay. Stealing from the poor. Yeah. There's there's an interpretation of the, the widow who gave their all. Mm-hmm. You know that last coin? Yes. The, where the, we are told at Where tea. Jesus was sitting mm. by the... Mm. Hey, you guys, me, I will use this Bible. <laughs> you are in it. Don't there's play. Like, don't there's an like interpretation this. where... Uh, and these are the interpretations and the theologies we don't hear. That actually Jesus was very mad. That how can this one who has nothing mm-hmm. be the one that's giving their all mm-hmm. and you you're there with everything and you're giving, giving nothing drop. yeah you know yeah but then we keep telling women give, give your every, all jesus loves when you get, g- yes. give your all like that poor woman what yeah. else can i give as a woman to the church mm. you know yeah what else can poor women give do they even need to give or do they need to be given? That is it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. We don't protect widows. Hmm. We don't. We don't protect um, the lame, the, yeah. the lepers. Yeah, and people living with disability. Yeah. We, and the people living with uh, disabilities. We yeah. don't protect refugees. Hmm. We don't protect we all those people that we are strictly commanded to protect. And orphans and yeah. Mm, and orphans, we don't. 
but what we will do is mm-hmm. we will do a, a scholarship fund for 0.1% of our budget mm-hmm. so that we are happy yeah but then we don't tackle the public education but we'll do a feeding program surely mm-hmm. is is that not enough we don't invest in public education so that all of us in the policies and we have the capacity to do that yeah and to even add our voice to d- mm. demanding for public services demanding yes. for public health care yeah. public transport public yeah, yeah. But we have the capacity as a church to demand for go- better for the public yeah you know yeah jesus served the public mm. i don't know who we serve when we are not speaking on behalf of wanjiko of the public yeah we are, we, we 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 are serving uh caesar we've become we are not just giving but we are giving we mm. are we are owned we have like we've yeah. given ourselves completely we, to we consistently are serving caesar yeah because caesar feeds us mm. all right now i don't like to leave to leave conversations <laughs> hanging in in hopelessness like so we've given we've done we've done so mm. when we are and this is now the work that you do reimagining mm. yes a, a, you know a just a human and care centered theology mm-hmm. What does that theology look like? And how and this is a hard question. How can we support you? <laughs> I think for me is read your scriptures mm-hmm. uh, with a non-colonial mindset. Seek God in ways that you know best how. Yeah. Um how to support just we do a lot of uh, i host a podcast listen to the podcast mm-hmm. singi talks podcast Msingi talks, yeah uh, f- uh monthly facebook lives mm-hmm. singi on our page singi singi trust on facebook mm-hmm. instagram i'm not that active on twitter yeah but uh, but facebook everywhere. is where it's at yeah. facebook is where it's at yeah. but also i read read black women okay that was because i was going yes. to ask you <laughs> If the text is yes. colonial how yes. can I read it without being yes. yet the actual text is colonial yes yeah. read read uh read black feminist uh theologians mm-hmm. there's an amazing amazing um mother of uh of theology called Masi Amba Oduyoye mm-hmm. okay Oduyoye I know Oduyoye, yes <laughs> yeah Masi uh not Esther no ma- no Masi not Amba. no <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not going to say what church, but I know her. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But um Mercy and we we'll, I want us to do a book study on Mercy next year okay. at at Msingi. But read um there's the circle of concerned uh women theologians in yes. Kenya who've mm-hmm. done a good great job. Mm-hmm. Uh Professor Mombo. Yes. Professor Mombo. Ah, she gives me strength. Okay. So much strength mm-hmm. in mm-hmm. the sense of of what she's been able to accomplish mm. and the dignity she gives especially women preachers yeah and women leaders african women yes. leaders Afri- and preachers yes yeah. Yeah. and then globally there are so many other voices that we can learn from mm-hmm. um there is uh very many okay uh, quite a number of them but yeah. because they are not mainstream mm-hmm. because they don't have uh evangelical budgets mm-hmm. we don't <laughs> evangelical <laughs> we don't budgets are you here don't <laughs> hear them yeah. but um if you can if you're looking for people to listen to mm-hmm. there's will gaffney mm-hmm. uh, an amazing woman there's mm-hmm. brenda salter mcneil mm-hmm. there's um quite a lot of people yeah, who, yeah. who do a great job yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. And Isabel Piri from uh, from Africa. From Africa as yes. well. I think yeah. it's important because many times you just read a text and then the books that have evangelical budgets are white mm. and male so you will find them on the streets everywhere but these are the Wait, authors. And have you been to bookshops? Have you been to You like, will find I don't want to mention yes. names. 99.9% Pers- yes. white men. And white women telling you about oh how to be this kind of woman how to do yes. how to think and all of them are just white and male yeah. and wow yeah. yeah oh this was so I feel like okay <laughs> all right so I'm going to link I mean I'm going to have the names of those women we'll have them um mm. just on, in this video I'll yes. put it on yeah and then anytime you know you're discussing when when you begin the book club will definitely mm. be be part of it yeah. and uh so you will see that on on my social media pages mm. and also 
on her social media pages yes. at Musingi Trust. Yeah. Yes, yeah. And thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for the work that you do. It's Thanks not easy. You. Some of us left. <laughs> <laughs> we left by just like, hey, no, 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 yeah. no, no. But, but thank you for the work you do. Mm-hmm. And uh, and thank you for holding for holding them talk. Although you shouldn't be doing it by yourself. Yeah. It's not, I mean, that is if that is where oppression is comfortable, yeah. then that is where we should be doing. Yeah. I, and, and this is what I tell my friends my yeah. fellow feminist as we were saying <laughs> yeah. uh, as we were saying that as f- our, our organizing should be where oppression is yeah we can't we need to support the people who are fighting wherever they are fighting yes. maybe that's not your space yeah but if you have chosen to fight in politics mm-hmm. I will support you in politics yes if I am fighting in the church and then theological space support, yeah. then we shouldn't it's not a measurement of who is more feminist than the other mm. based on the on the place that I am fighting. Yes. Yeah. No, we do that a lot. Sometimes you're like, can you be Christian and feminist? Even I have done that. I'm yes. just like, can you be Christian and feminist? Yes. But where the oppression is, is where we fight the hardest. And yes. thank you so much yeah. for, for the work you do. Me, I will support you. Mm-hmm. I, it's not my space. Yes. It <laughs> it's not my yes, space. It's but okay. yeah. Yes, but but I will support you. you can You can count on me to amplify Asante. and to join you. Asante. And I will be there. And thank you thank so much you. for coming. Thank you. And yes. this is an amazing podcast. Yay. Well done. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> yes. My comment is that I am doing church trauma without getting triggered is a big deal. You guys, it's a it's a big deal. It's mm. a big deal. But like she has said, where the fight and where the oppression is the hardest is where we need to to fight also the hardest. So if you know people working within the theology space and within the church spaces, they need our support, not for us to judge them and question whether their activism is real or whether they're feminist. That's not the point. The point is they are doing the work of freedom and they're mm. doing the work of reimagining freedom yeah. in those spaces. So if you cannot, if that's not your space, then just support it. And so uh, follow her on Musingi Trust on Facebook. And she has an amazing, amazing podcast called Musingi Talks. Also check that out as well. And and thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much. Please do, do not forget to subscribe. I need you all to subscribe. Yes. I need you all to subscribe so that we can reach more people and so that we can have more amazing conversations and so that I can host more of you. Thank you so much and see you in the next video. <laughs>